Following my reviews of the Zenit E and Zenit 12 XP, I've been asked to talk a little bit more about this wonderful little lens. So here goes. The Helios 44 II is just one of the many Helios 44 series lenses manufactured by KMZ between the 50s and the 90s. It shares many of its desired properties with many other lenses in the Helios 44 family, including the much coveted Swirly Bokeh. The Helios 44 II was one of the most mass-produced lenses of its time, having been the kit lens for so many Zenit cameras, of which millions were made. Over 12 million of the Zenit E alone were made, for example. This particular one is an M42 mount, although they were made in other mounts such as the Pentax K and the Zenit D bayonet mounts. It is a 58mm f2 lens. 58 millimeters because apparently the Soviets believed that to be closer to normal than the more popular 50 millimeters. It has six elements in four groups and it focuses from about half a meter to infinity. The filter size is 49 millimeters and weighs about 230 grams. There are some variations of the Helios 44 II depending on when they were made and by whom. And by that I mean which iteration of KMZ the company. But that's a long story. I really love this lens. It's not the sharpest lens in the world, but that's okay. Actually, it is the lack of sharpness that attracts quite a few people to it. Believe that or not. This particular one is single coated, so it suffers from light flares and hence it loses contrast at times. Again, this is normally a flaw, however, that flaw can be creatively exploited. Its primary use for me is on its mothership, the Zenit E, where it delivers those classic swells and beautiful dreamy photos as expected. Secondarily, it is a very, very nice lens for video, especially if you're looking to create that cinematic feel. The Helios 44-2 has a smooth depth of field preview ring not quite sure whether that's an appropriate name. With the aperture set to f16, you can stop down to f2 in one smooth motion with that ring. The intention is for you to be able to focus at f2 and then quickly return to your intended aperture. The unintended benefit of this is the ability to change the aperture very quickly and very smoothly while shooting video without disturbing the recording with any clicking sounds. Talking of video, you would need an adapter for your digital camera either DSLR or mirrorless. I usually attach mine to my Sony A6000 with the M42 to Sony E mount, also known as the M42 to Nex mount. See in descriptions for links to adapters that suit your camera. Ah, I forgot to mention, this whole thing was filmed in just this configuration, as well as a short demo. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.